These are windmills, mate. Oh, sneak or snuck one in. Let's watch that again in slow motion. If you're a boxer and you're watching this, you can see what the punch is that you should throw to end this fight, right? His left hand comes from behind his back. I've never seen this before. If that was a boxer in there, the fight would have been over right now. It would have been over probably within five seconds. So now we've got this UFC fighter trying to knock out this novice. This is Sean Strickland, who is a former UFC champion. And this is Sneeko, who is a social media influencer, I think. Well, these two have just went head to head in a fight or not even a fight, a spawn session. And everyone on social media is talking about what happened. I seen Jake Paul's tweet calling Sean Strickland a bully for doing what he did. And then Strickland got back at Jake Paul, going backwards and forwards. And I'm thinking, I wonder if this is one of Jake Paul's next opponents. And if so, I want to break down his sparring session with Sneeko, see how his boxing looks. And at the end, I'm going to give you my prediction who I think would win in a fight, Jake Paul or the former UFC champ. And with me being an Olympic medalist boxer, I think what I've got to say about this will be pretty accurate. Wow, so you can already see the size difference. Did he just say if you actually knocked me out, how cool it would be because you've actually accomplished something from doing nothing? Well, that's not nothing. If he knocked out a former UFC champ, yeah, that would be that would be big. But gauging the size difference of these two right now, that might be a hard task to do. So I don't know what boxing experience this Sneeko's got, but to me, he looks kind of new. He's boxing like by the book, how you would get taught. And obviously the UFC champs just walking forward, like easy work for him. And the reason why it's so easy for him, obviously he's got all of that experience, but these punches from the smaller guy, obviously are not hurting. Yeah, he's taking them punches easy, which you would when you've got way more experience. Wow, so that means he's going to absolutely batter him in a little bit. They should be setting in right now, then nothing that you do can hurt me. And this is a moment that as you're realizing, you're about to have a really bad fucking day in the next minute. <laughs> so he's in the ring with them, threatening them what's about to happen. In all my years of boxing, I've never seen anyone say this to someone in the ring, or have I? No, I don't think I have. But like, I don't even know what this is all about. Like, what they're doing it for? Is it just for this Sneeko's Rumble account? I see he's got on the bottom there of the video. Is he trying to be an influencer boxer? I mean, he's got a set of balls on him for actually going in there and doing this with this monster. But he landed one there. Oh, Sneeko snuck one in. Let's watch that again in slow motion. The punch of the fight so far. Here he comes. Boom. And he knocks his head back. <laughs> Go on, Sneeko lad. Sneak one in. Two minutes. Two minutes, then what's going to happen? That's what we're waiting to see, right? What's going to happen? Like, Sean is just touching him. He's not really doing much at all. Playing with him. <laughs> Again, I've got a ton of boxing experience at 106 fights. It is so easy to do what Strickland is doing here with a novice boxer. Just walking forward like that. Punches are not going to hurt you. Your body's conditioned to take them. But it would be nice if Sneak would sneak a big, massive power right on him because it doesn't matter. How tough you are, if you get hit with a hard shot, you could get knocked out, but obviously with Sean's experience, he knows that he kind of get hurt off this guy. But then come back into Sneeko's box and he's, he's trying, he's throwing good punches. Oh, then he's letting him hit him in the body. Oh, and then he throws another one to the head. Would well, you know what would have been great there? If Sneeko had more experience, what he should have done. Like when he's got his hands up, that's he's going around the sides there. If he went straight forward in the solar plexus in between your chest there, because you can't build muscle there. If you can hit someone really hard, you will do some damage to them. But he didn't do it. But instead he went around the sides. But then I like what he did there. Watch, he sneaks another one in, throws a hook to the body then. Boom, a little right under the head. Go on. Surely this uh, guy's not going to start battering him. Let that right hand go. What time are we at? What time was? Two, Two minutes left. I want to enjoy this a little bit longer. Then when I get close to the There you go. Oh, there he's going for it. 
Ooh. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Towels went in. He's on his feet. He hasn't knocked him down. Like, nah, this is too much, man. Like, what's the point? Again, what's the point? Like, no, I really don't like seeing that. But again, I, I don't know what they're doing this for. Is it a bet? Has this Sneako guy been mouthing off to him? I've got no idea. But I do not like to see anyone at a higher level beat up a novice like that. Unless it is for a bet or unless it is a hater or something like that. Obviously, Sean Strickland tried his hardest there to hurt him and knock him out. If we watch that again, he's not pulling any punches. For that little 20 second flurry or whatever it was. He throws an uppercut with a lead hand then a right hand over the top. Uppercut misses. Boom, right hand over the top, hits him clean. Sneeko took it, but then he misses with like a bunch of shots. So there, he throws a hook, it might have landed. Then he throws like a push, misses with a hook, misses with a right hand. Not really landing, because he's covering up there. Then he goes for the uppercut. Right hand by the side. Now look at this Sneeko's position. Anyone with boxing experience knows that you should never be in this position. If you've got your head down like this, you cannot see what's going to come. So now we've got this UFC fighter trying to knock out this novice and he cannot do it. He hasn't done it. If that was a boxer in there at the level of Sean Strickland, which he's not a boxer, he's a UFC fighter, the fight would have been over right now. It would have been over probably within five seconds, 10 seconds, because this is what would have happened. So he's thrown a right hand over the top. A boxer might have done that. But then what that St Sean Strickland is doing now, he's just thrown a barrage of punches, which is kind of what, uh, not saying he's a novice, cause he's not, but like a kind of novice boxer would do to try and knock someone out. Now, if this was a boxer, you would have hit him with that roll of the hand right over the top, then he would have took his time, found some space, and then threw other punches. Like, Sneeko's on the ropes, or the cage, if you like, here. If you're a boxer and you're watching this, you can see what the punches that you should throw to end this fight, right? Right here, or right on the other side. Then, after five, 10 seconds, this would have been done, which he's trying to do. He's trying to finish him off, but he hasn't finished him off. So he's hit him with the uppercut. Now he's hit him with the right hand over the top. Now a boxer can see what the next punch is here. Look where he's wide open, to the body there. A left hook, he's got his left hand down here, should come straight in, punch him there. He's on the floor, he's not getting up, but instead he throws a hook and lands on the gloves. So now look, he's open this side. Now what? Take like a little push. Now he runs away, he lets him off. The kind of ropes, if you like, of the, the cage. And he's following him around here. So another thing a boxer would have done, we wouldn't follow him around. We would step across and cut him off. Jesus. Someone just said, Jesus Christ. There's more towels coming in. So he hits him with a big overhand right there and a hook. If you just see this, how much he's loading up them punches. These are windmills, mate. Watch again. His left hand comes behind, from behind his back. I've never seen this before. Now, because this Sneeko guy is a novice and he is looking elsewhere right now, which if he was a boxer, he would never do that. You'd see this punch coming a mile away. Boom. <laughs> and then he hits, knocks his head back and then Forrest Griffin jumps in and stops him because yeah, he's obviously gonna get even more badly hurt. So I'm gonna give you my opinion on him and Jake Paul and who I think would win that fight. I just wanna say, even though I was very critical of Strickland right there on this boxing match. I can't see it. this is how we would box because we've seen the beginning of this round where he just walked forward and kind of did nothing. So he's not going into this like a pro boxing match. But what I am seeing is if that was a boxer in there with that sneak or guy, he would have been finished with a body shot. And then he just said, why did you throw the towel in? Oh, what a character. And I've just went on his Twitter and I noticed he posted this. <laughs> you never got me down which is very true he didn't put him down he tried very hard to put him down another thing that he didn't do is work behind his job now he wasn't he was just trying to knock him out with them big wild swinging big right and left hands but the way you set them punches up is by throwing your three punches anyway I'm, I'm breaking it down as if it was a fight it wasn't a fight it was pretty ridiculous let's put it that way from that there and seeing what Jake Paul has done in boxing there's two things I want to mention one thing is it will be a bloody entertaining fight. I've seen him in post-fight press conferences. It's it's great, great fight build-ups, very entertaining. From that, like Jake has been training boxing for years now. There's no denying it that he can fight. He's a good boxer. He's got power in both hands. And I've never seen Sean Strickland fight in the UFC. I don't know what he's like. 
obviously isn't, is better than what we've just seen. But judging from what I've just seen there, none of them punches that he hurt that kid with would land on someone like Jake Paul. But if he does fight Jake Paul, I think it'd be very entertaining. Who do you think would win? Also, do you think that Logan Paul is a good fighter? I break down his boxing skills. I put them on this video right here. So click here and watch this video next.